questions? No. Hey guys, I got on one of my best chocolate perfumes I've ever smelled. Bruno and Capara Ruby Perfume Oil. Generous, generous, generous sample from Lucky Scent. That is almost two ml in this. And this stuff is expensive per ml. I'm surprised this isn't one of those five drop samples. Um, so anyways, thankful for that. Roja on the channel. Controversial, doesn't score well with some people. Some people don't know if it's because of a spat or whatnot, but uh, that doesn't matter here. <laughs> I'm all about the juice, not about anything else. No drama, juice only. Roja, Amber Oud doing it today. I'm branded with Therapeutic Fragrance. Glad you clicked on the channel. I'm an Oud man. I'm into Oud. I have f over 40 oils in my collection. Uh, it, it's a special oil to me. It's special so much so that people put it in their name. Uh, it, it's a serious thing to me. I, I don't think you should put Oud in the perfume name unless it has real Oud in it. I only put this in the top because this has real Oud in it. Man. Stay tuned for the review, guys. All right, Roja, Amber Oud by Roja Dove. One of the greatest books in the perfume market. Great perfumer, in my opinion. This is an x straight launched in 2012. You ready for this one? A bottle will set you back $765 for 100 ml, over seven bucks in ml. This gets a 4.3 out, eight out of five on Fragranica. Top notes are burning up lime, Heart notes are Rose de Mai, Jasmine de Grasse, Ylang Ylang, and Fig. Base notes are Cinnamon, Saffron, Patchouli, Okma, Sandalwood, Oud, Benzoin, Oris, Birch, Ambergris, and Musk. All right, this is straight up a luxurious perfume. If you want to put on luxury without no heavy stink, without no heavy nothing, just a, like the notes, rich notes, like seeing gold and seeing diamonds. If you actually want to have your senses, you know, see the, the, the richness of that. If you want to smell the richness of materials, this is the one to put on. Yes, I smelled the oud from the beginning. It's oud fragrance. Uh, thank God at that price it is. Um, I, I couldn't believe what I was smelling. This is, this is on that list where I, I have a big reward. Uh, something big in business happens. It, it, it's, it's on there. It's high on there. Uh, and right now, this is like the fifth one I put on since starting this of buys that I'll have. Uh, so <laughs> I need something really huge to happen. So I just buy all five. Could happen. I have, the, I have faith for that stuff. But th this is one of those. I'll put that out there even before we get into this. All right. Citrus floats inside the amber. They don't exist on their own but are enveloped by a caramel ocean that lets them swirl around in this elixir of love. The, cha the changes are subtle, as this is rich and luxurious wearing. This is a great perfume. At this price, it better be. A unique jasmine is here. It's more delicate than the sharp covered amber, just like the citrus. Did I mention the fig note? This thing is dripping with honey. Fig is one of my favorite notes instead of vanilla. Like honey to a fig, Vanilla is to an amber. Fig is one of my favorite notes. I think it provides a rich, sweeter resin than uh, a vanilla. So from a vanilla to an amber, I'd rather have a fig to an amber. Um, I think that's just a better uh, kind of complement to that as amber has vanilla in it. I think the fig just adds to it, to the complexity of the composition. Great chosen pair and perfectly blended against uh, each other. In the heart, the jasmine gets sharper and a bit narcotic with the bright, illegal blossoming. 
throughout the wearing, the ambergris iazodes the entire wearing and just uh, cr creates that lift to each note and each fragrance, that oceanic lift. As if you're on the ocean, the ocean just lifts every scent around you. Same thing with the ambergris that it does to the fig, to the honey, to the oud. It just luxurious ingredients. The saffron aromatic on top of the ambergris also, it's something special. It's something to be had of. It, it, the, I'd say there's real ambergris in here too. I have a, a saffron ambergris uh, tincture. It, same thing. That's what this is. I, I'm duped if not. But the ambergris just does something luxurious to perfume. Real ambergris, not the synthetic one that turns fresh and soapy. But the real one that's raw, oceanic with everything that's in the ocean. Oud is present in the top part base of the wearing. It's a little bit of an animalic oud, a little bit of um, a funky oud. I, I guess it was Indian level oud, so that, that darker, richer, more of uh, funky, funkiness in it. But don't don't let that steer you away. The, the luxury ingredients just tame it and it does what it's supposed to do. And that's why you use oods like that in these perfumes. The rose is a unique ch choice, being more jammy than it is uh, rosy and bright, which is a great twist in an oud pairing perfume. I love red rose. It's overused with rose and oud. I know why. It's a great pairing. It's, it's one of the best pairings on earth. Girl, guy, rose, oud. It, it's just a strong, soft sense. But this rose is jammy like it was condensed with the honey. <laughs> That's the picture I have, condensing the rose with the honey and getting that smell out of a jar from that and putting it in to the perfume. Birch is a soft back in the background, adding a soft like suede kind of feel to the perfume as it dries down a bit. And the saffron stays aromatic on top in the dry down. This base might be the stuff of legends. This is a stellar base. If I did complain, I'd want more oud, but I have no complaints. It, it's a well-crafted base in this perfume. Masterpiece level, masterpiece level, masterpiece level of a perfume here. Wish the price was more masterpiece price, but uh, overall, what you have and delivered with these level of ingredients, it's where people can put their nose on them. If you have a chance to sample this, you need to sample this as a perfume lover. If you're first into perfume, yeah, don't go here. It's just too expensive unless you can just burn money. Then start here. <laughs> but um, th th this is a level uh, to sample. This is, uh, I've smelled, I've s just test strips. I've worn a couple other roaches, nothing that knocked my socks off. This is next level stuff. This is uh, um, probably, I, I can't say his best work. I want to say this, Probably his life's best work, but it's like one of those perfumes where you can tell he put everything into. It is like the centerpiece of a store collection uh, when you go to buy it, centerpiece of your collection when you own it, and it's something he wants his name on. It, it's masterpiece level. I, I was my I was knocked off my socks when I tried this because I try everybody's oud, every house's oud, and when somebody actually uses it to this level, yeah, my, my socks are knocked off. All ingredients in here are top notch. They all flow. They're all used differently than you're used in perfumery. Scoring, Roja, Amber Oud. Addictiveness, 15 out of 15. Projection, Siage, 5 out of 5. Longevity, 3 out of 5. Composition as a whole, 25 out of 25. Ingredients and price to ML, 18 out of 25. Top, heart, and base. Top is a 10 out of 10. Heart, a 4 out of 5. The base, a 10 out of 10. Total score of 90. I have another one breaking the 90 mark. I can't help it. I have to score this at 90. Where would I wear this? Uh, High-end events, nights out. This is a special occasion for me in my collection. All year long for those events. Who do I see wearing this one? Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex. How many sprays? Three to five for me, guys. Thanks for checking out my review. Roja, Amber Oud. Rosia, compliments, stuff rocks. Good job. Glad you're on my channel. Guys, thanks for watching my journey in this fragrance world, being a part of it. Thanks for all the comments. Just, uh, yeah, thanks for being a part of it. Peace out, guys. Be blessed.